Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We are in Afterbirth, you know, it's, it's Rebirth with the Afterbirth uh, over the top of it, you get the idea. We're gonna do the daily challenge here. We're playing as Magster. Not super thrilled about that, but we're just gonna start. Before we start, I wanna dictate or detail to you my new daily challenge principle. Only take items if they're essential, because you do get a penalty for taking uh, items. So if, if it's like able, I'm not gonna take it. Do everything in your power to, to get to Boss Rush, and also do your due diligence. Pick up all the consumables that you possibly can. So that's that's going to be my protocol for this. So I might be playing slightly differently than your average run here. Like, I'm going in here, and I'm seeing number one, and I'm immediately like, that is worth taking in my opinion. I'm also going to just completely screw over my damage stat to come in here, but it was definitely worthwhile. Um, also, I kind of feel like you do want to take items that look sort of dubious on these daily challenge, because I... Da daily challenges, I should say, because I still think they're kind of curated for the opening uh, week or so here. Um, you know, the the whole number one pick up there, if you didn't pick that up, I imagine most people probably did, but if you didn't pick that up, I really disagree with you, because it's going to make it so much faster to shoot poops, and shooting poops uh, gives you the chance to get pennies, and each penny that you get is worth 10 seconds of shooting poop on it from a time standpoint. Plus, you could use it to buy something later, so... I really feel like, you know, pennies have kind of a disproportionate advantage as far as, you know, getting points go. But I think the thing that's going to separate most people on, um, on the Daily Challenge scoreboards right now, assuming you make it to the end of the game, the big thing is going to be, uh, whether or not you do Boss Rush. If you do Boss Rush, you're going to be in a, a better position, because you get a few thousand points just for doing it. Uh, I'm not going to sweat time. I'm not sweating time as much as you might think is, is prudent. First boss is gonna be Monstro, and that's because time is really not worth that much, you know? What's what's an extra 500 seconds on a run where you're gonna get 20,000 points? That's not that much, you know, in the whole scheme of things, if you could get that, uh, get those points back from another category, or another um, criteria, I should say. Not super thrilled with the damage there, but it is a, a thin room versus Monstro. I really feel, it, maybe I'm being overly min-maxy about it, but I really feel like if an item is non-essential, not picking it up is going to give us a surprising edge. Assuming that uh, I, I perform up to my usual standard, which is not to say amazing, but hopefully, you know, half decent. This is good enough. A luck upgrade that gives us more consumables, I will take. That didn't also seem to lower our points at all, so I don't know, maybe I'm a little out of my mind here in terms of, like, the strategy that we should be taking. Luckily, it hasn't been a factor. If we exclusively get good items... Uh, then, then that's that, man. I was originally uh, excited to see if we got something from that pot, but uh, I think I'm just gonna back it up instead because uh, that thing was gonna explode and hit us, and as Maggie, we're not necessarily fast enough to get out of the way. That was terrible damage, but that... I don't know if it makes up... Oh, I should have gotten Burnt Penny first, but still, that's pretty sweet. Um, we should take it just to see. This is a poop. This is a bad decision. Unless we get such luck that we can actually get great items from the poop on a consistent basis, in which case that would be awesome. But I feel like Burnt Penny, if you get the bonus, um, you know, the, the score bonus for picking up a bomb that you got from a penny, this could be good. Even if you don't, you still get a bomb, and a bomb is valuable. Uh, we don't want that, unfortunately. A bomb is valuable for, for various things. Not even from a daily challenge standpoint. Just from a, you know, the Binding of Isaac standpoint. Not everything has to be about daily challenges. Uh, on the Roundtable podcast today, Bear and Nick and Mathis and I talked a little bit about daily challenges and how we feel about how it's going so far. I really like the addition of the daily challenge, and I think it's mostly handled really, really well. But uh, I do think, like, I, I would like it if time had more of a factor. Because really, the idea that one penny is worth 10 seconds seems backwards to me. But I also recognize that I'm not every Binding of Isaac player, and, and some people prefer that level of min-maxing as opposed to speed. And I've also heard the counter-argument that, um, you know, time is on the leaderboards. You know, there is a separate leaderboard for time, but uh, I feel like perhaps that should be the default, or maybe just make time worth a little bit more. I feel like every second should be worth a little bit more than, you know, a tenth of a penny, basically. This was a good fight against Fistula. I'm happy with our performance, even if we do get hit here. We are going to get the deal with the Devil, which means we have not encountered the Kiss of Death. We will take both of these, because I don't know if they're amazing. Guppy's head is good enough. Demon Baby is probably not good enough, but I'm going to take it anyway. Addicted and Infested. It's a new show on the Discovery Channel. Uh, very happy that I took... Uh, 
the item we got as well. Magic Mushroom was a huge get there. We're gonna go to the Curse Room for sure because we do want to become Guppy on today's daily challenge, if it's at all possible. And, you know, if I had to guess, I'd say that there's probably a, a half-decent chance because we got a Guppy item in our first item room, but we'll see. Uh, in here, I'm gonna start by buying a bomb. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because one bomb can give me two bombs. I recognize that this won't let us buy a Spirit Heart, or this makes it so we won't be able to buy a Spirit Heart. Eh, that's unfortunate. But, maybe we can get enough money anyway. And I want, uh, I want to keep our bomb economy in good standing. I maybe shouldn't have even stepped on that, but that's okay. Wonder what happens if I like, I was gonna like walk out, get the hearts and then walk back in and see if that provided us with anything, but I don't know. Similarly, we could go to our, um, to our special room there, and by special room I mean incredibly scary mob trap or boss trap room, but I don't think that's that prudent. When I was detailing my strategy, not that it's ideal necessarily, when I was detailing my new strategy for the daily challenge to Mathis and Bear, the way I, I phrased it is like, I'm gonna focus on going exactly as fast as is necessary to get to boss rush and no faster, because I really think that that is gonna be important, is, is making sure that you're getting boss rush if possible. I am gonna use a bomb to check for second secret room. It is indeed there. That eternal heart is very nice, okay. Down to the next floor, and I, uh, to be honest with you, I'm feeling pretty good about this daily so far. This floor is a little bit of a crapshoot because um, we don't have a spirit heart, but we don't have great deal with the devil odds regardless, so... I'm not gonna sweat it too much. If I didn't have Curse of the uh, Blind, the only thing I think I'd change is that I probably wouldn't have picked up Demon Baby. But it's it's gotta be close to the borderline, you know? Oh my god. Like, the, uh, the, the amount of time Demon Baby will s- ah, That was bad dodging on my part. The amount of time Demon Baby will save us is, you know, probably roughly worth what we paid in terms of the penalty. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, what is this? The D12. So this is the D20 plus the D6 combined? Rerolls rocks? Rerolls rocks? Well, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> on the regular, right? You probably don't want to be getting in the habit of, um, of re-rolling mushrooms into shitty rocks. We re-rolled some rocks into poop as well. Uh, but I kind of like the idea of this. Maybe we could re-roll rocks into tinted rocks. You know, I, I don't think there's going to be much debate over what's better. This or Guppy's paw. Or Guppy's, Guppy's head, sorry. But, um, this could be interesting nonetheless. I think it's worth giving it a shot, at least. Also, let's just say we got an awesome, uh, item from our boss on the last floor. Magic Mush, possibly the best boss item you can possibly get if we take out the, the Fallen from the, the pool, so you can't just take any deal with the Devil item. Um, yeah, that's, it's pretty excellent. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this work. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try. We're also gonna go into our curse room right away. Lucky me, two different bombs. We're gonna find a room with some awesome rocks on it. This does not appear to be that room. Why are these enemies moving in the opposite direction of me? Not that everything's about me, but isn't it supposed to be uh, in this situation? This feels like a second secret room to me. Okay, that's fine. It, to be honest with you, we probably shouldn't have even checked because it's a, a little bit uh, unlikely, but I'm happy we did. You know what? We do get like 30 extra points, or 15 points per bomb, I think, here. So I think we've made the right decision. What if we reroll poop? Does it reroll poop? Let's see if it rerolls poop. It doesn't reroll poop, only rocks. I know. Northern line, it says rerolls rocks. Look, that's true. But at the same time, we rerolled some rocks into poop, so I thought maybe that channel went both ways, you know? Doesn't appear to. That's okay. Question, Question mark. Okay, so this one so far seems to be all about. Teaching us a thing or two about new new pills, uh, which is interesting. We have enough bombs that I would think this is our second secret room. It's like nicely laid out for us here, so we'll check in on that. Still, again, very unlikely to get a deal with the devil. We'll check anyway. Blow this up because consumables are so valuable for us. And uh, I guess we should have shot the rainbow poop, but we'll probably come back and go to our mob trap room as long as we're still ahead of the curve for boss rush here. Again, I think that is in incredibly relevant. All right, so just go to town here. There will be um, angry flies, but as long as they're not grandfather flies or the grandfather flies get taken care of pretty quickly, 
This will be a pretty fast run for us here. You're just gonna move whenever they have the frequency to shoot, basically. And if we get a deal with the devil, then fantastic. If we don't, then unfortunate, but... Pentagram is an essential item as far as I'm concerned. Let's check this out. We've re-rolled these. We got, uh, we got some poops. We got some TNT. Bomb rocks. I'm assuming there is a, a chance, even if it is a small chance, to re-roll into, uh... To re-roll, like, your, your rocks into tinted rocks? Otherwise, what's the point of this item, you know? Like, it doesn't seem to have much relevance. I'm gonna try the, the mob trap room, because I do think that... Again, I'm, I'm testing my hypothesis that, uh... There are more relevant metrics than time when it comes to performing well on the daily challenge. We will check this for sure. I'm glad we came. You never know what this could be. The fool. For once, we're actually not going to want to uh, teleport out of boss rush. So the fool card might seem like it's not worth very much, but uh, au contraire. I still think to be able to get us out of a curse room or something, it's nice. Or a boss trap room that we don't actually have to fight. It could save us a little bit of time, which could be valuable when it comes to... Um, Again, basically making sure that we go exactly as fast as we need to to get into boss rush, but no faster than necessary um, because we'll miss out on consumables that could have buffered our score. And as long as this is what the formula for the game is going to be, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stop farming consumables now because we're uh, about 10 seconds behind boss rush time in my opinion, but let's keep going. Mm. What I forgot to even point out is that this one ends on the mom fight. So boss rush is actually... I think even more important than usual because this one's gonna be over very very quickly so we should really make sure that we can get into and hopefully beat boss rush and that'll make a big difference in uh, in uh, our performance here I think I possibly like a huge difference in our performance here so uh, let's get the lead out and make sure we're focusing on getting to boss rush because there's gonna be no more floors to make up for lost time if I end up screwing it up so you'll be looking for rooms with rocks and again, I think you have to do boss rush. I don't think you can just teleport out and, and get the value out of it. You know, there are a couple rocks here, so we'll try. I don't think it's going to be that valuable. We'll give it a shot. Am I regretting uh, not having Guppy's head? Yes, a little bit, maybe. But I wonder how many times we can reroll rocks on, like, boss trap and maybe create TNT that can fuck with our enemies a little bit. And again, like, this... I really feel like... If there's one principal problem I have with the scoring in, in daily challenges is that I think it makes the penny trinket so incredibly good. Which isn't by itself a bad thing, it's just maybe not the way that I would like it to be balanced, personally. Like, um, any, any trinket that gives you more consumables is automatically going to be extremely powerful in this mode. Like, imagine if you had IV bag bloody penny, like, couldn't you just farm up, like, you know, I think uh, they were saying that you can get 30,000 points from consumables on a run. That's better than, you know, the total score for most people on the daily challenge, myself included. That's like a good daily right there. So I really feel like that gives you a disproportionate advantage. You know what? Taking experimental treatment, I believe, would uh, cost us points and also possibly cost us, like, goodness. <laughs> so I think... This is another, uh, like, this This daily, I think, is going to be tightly contested because of the fact that it's, uh, that was terrible damage. Because of the fact that there's not much wiggle room, you know, everybody and their mom is going to beat mom on this run because it's not that challenging. So, um, we're going to give this a shot and we're going to try to make up points wherever we can. We do lose 20 points, by the way, every time we put down a bomb. So, maybe it's not in our best interest to blow up mushrooms. I don't know. I resent kind of being forced to min-max in this way, but... Uh, you know, that's what you sign up for when you do these dailies. That's what you sign up for when you put your pride on the line against Mathis. I'm actually stoked to be fighting Greed, because I'm like, you know, why wouldn't I why wouldn't I want the chance to get more consumables? A steam sale. Um I I sort of think we shouldn't take it, but I will. It lowered us by like 30 points. Okay, so it's probably worth taking if it causes us to actually spend less money. Um we're fine here on on time i'd like to go a little bit faster but that's just the way the cookie crumbles right we're gonna be out of here at like 13 30. we could probably make up maybe 15 20 seconds on the next floor by using this fool card effectively and we do you know we find ourselves getting stronger floor after floor although not so much on this floor uh, i don't think we i don't think we want that to be honest with you the speed down is going to be a problem you already get a penalty for picking it up i don't actually want to stomp on things i have enough bombs 
Uh, our speed is already kind of bad, so I think we want to stay away from that. My personal opinion on the balancing of the daily challenges, and they can feel free to tell me to, you know, go suck an egg or whatever, but that's, um, I think you should be rewarded the more items you pick up. And people are telling me, they're like, well, that's kind of ass backwards, because, you know, the, the more items you pick up, the easier your runs become, so you should be rewarded for taking as few items as possible. While I understand this logic, uh, I disagree with it, because some items are actually... Uh, oh man, thank god we didn't take Thunder Thighs, at least. Some items, um, show up because of player skill. Or at least player commitment. If you throw, um, you know... Oh my god. If you throw two and a half minutes at uh, a blood bank trying to make a... Trying to make a blood bag or an IV bag and you get it, I think you should be rewarded for that instead of penalized for taking it. Uh, and if you're saying, if your argument is strictly... That's good, okay. If your argument is strictly that, um... You know, anything that rewards the player should lower their score, then that's fine, but maybe be consistent and, uh... You know, pennies and keys and bombs maybe should lower your score then, because you do, uh... Uh, they, they make your game easier, so... I, uh... I guess I that's where I fall on that. This is probably worth it, right? Ah, Tyrone! I hate this. It was not worth it. Huge waste of time. That's all right. We're still like way on track for um, for boss rush, no doubt. I'd like to keep that up. I'd also like to get a deal with the devil chance here, if it's at all possible. Um, let's crack a couple skulls, because I think these are the best possible rocks we could hope for next to mushrooms that contain magic mush. Now I realize, why am I cracking into mushrooms for pills and magic mush when I already have magic mush? Maybe I should stop throwing bombs away as well. That could be a place where I could be losing out kind of big time here. Oh, make a bridge? Didn't quite make a bridge, but, you know, the idea was there. Room looks like a rocket ship. A, a flesh rocket ship, if you catch my drift. Yo, stay away from me. You're gonna create enemies when you die. I should have known, considering I actually absolutely called that. Okay, just don't get hit on this room. Buy a spirit heart from the shop, no matter what it costs, because it's worth get getting uh, the deal with the devil chance here. Yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna take blue candle. We can't do anything with converter. I think I've I've kind of overstayed my welcome, or the to put it more succinctly and accurately, the D12 has overstayed its welcome. Rerolling rocks seems cool. I'm not sure how relevant it'll be. Uh, now, the most important thing for me, in my opinion, right now, is actually getting to the point where uh, I I feel comfortable doing boss rush. So I I sort of don't feel like we're at that point yet. The death card doesn't really help with that. But uh, we, we need to be able to survive, basically. Is it better to beat Mom and die on Boss Rush or beat Mom and then just, you know, have beaten Mom and leave? I think it's better to to die on Boss Rush, honestly, which is weird, but we'll, we'll find out. There is a black card here. I would love Lump of Coal. Anything else we're probably not going to pick up. Yep, that's fine. Life goes on. Luck up. Lucky Penny is good. Uh, I think we'll just go... We didn't get our black heart. It got pushed away. That was very stupid of me, but that's okay. We're still in this. This is an important moment. We're right on schedule. Double key room. Uh, I don't know. I'm not touching it. <laughs> if it were not the daily, I would consider touching it. Because it's the daily, I'm not going to touch it. We got to go fast here. Not fast so that we can get a good score directly, but fast so that we can get to boss rush, which will allow us to get a good score. I think, you know, uh, on a situation where the dailies are so short. I also, I kind of take issue with the fact that some dailies end a little earlier than I'd like, but I also, I, I see that as kind of a mark or a nod towards accessibility, maybe. That's not worth it, I think. Um, I feel like uh, maybe that makes the dailies more playable for people who are not necessarily super pro at Isaac. They can look at a run like this and be like, oh, all I gotta do is beat mom, so like, unlike yesterday's daily, I actually have a chance to compete. So maybe it's actually like a shrewder choice that I'm giving it credit for. Super Greed, I'm also, I'm content to do this fight as long as we can still make boss rush. And I really think this run is gonna come down to like, who does boss rush, who doesn't. I don't know, you get like, ah, that's such bullshit. It's my own fault, but uh, 
I wish I hadn't taken damage there so we could have the chance to deal with the devil. But you know what? A deal with the devil is just gonna make it, uh... It's just gonna give you less points anyway, right? If you take the deal. So we got, like, probably about a minute and a half left to get into the devil room. At this point, I'm like, fuck the damage, who cares? More damage, I'm starting to care because we need to get into boss rush still. And if you're gonna be like, hey, NL, stop playing so recklessly, I, I really feel like right now boss rush is the only thing that matters in, in my whole life, in the whole world. This is the most important thing by far, so. We are checking every single one of these. So far, it's worked out like gangbusters. One Joker card. Uh, let's take that right after we finish this room. Because if there is a good deal, if there's something like Brimstone, I have to take it. Pretty Fly is fine. Gotta go faster. That is uh, my Shadow, which I think is kind of garbage, actually, so I'm not gonna take it. It might not actually absolutely be garbage, but I think it is, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay, and I'm gonna be silly and pick up all these bombs again. And then we're gonna go back and get our death card and try to extremely quickly make it into our boss fight. I'm assuming you probably get a bonus for living through the daily. I really needed him to die faster than this. Yo! Thank you. I'm not. I, we don't have. To, oh, I thought it was a dead end. Faster, faster, faster. Still, like increasingly faster. Oh my lord! Don't let me be the last to know. Seriously though, get in the fucking room. Good, 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 good. Don't care about taking damage. All we care about is dealing damage. There we go, there we go. Great stuff, we're gonna make it. Better to die on boss rush... ...than live... ...and not do it. I missed with that fucking blue candle shot. Go, go, go! Get in the room! Ah! <laughs> I got in right as I picked up the red heart. Okay. So we're gonna pick up Rune Bag. Again, if I die on the room, I die on the room, but I think we gotta try to do it anyway. So this, my, my opinion on this right now is play it real freaking slow. Again, I feel like time, it's a little overstated how important time is for the dailies. The most important thing definitely just seems to be progress. Whoa! This guy's got all sorts of different attacks. Just wait it out. I do wish he'd get out of, like, fuck himself in the butt territory down here. Good. We got a half heart out of that. That's extremely valuable. Yes, yes, run away from me! Run away from me, Blighted Ovum! Well, what did I, <laughs> What was my, uh, my central ammo coming into this? Take exactly as much time as is necessary to get into boss rush and no more. We got into boss rush with probably less than a second remaining. So I feel like, uh, we probably made the right decision in that case. I wonder if Runebag can drop runes, uh, during this fight. During boss rush, I should say. Because if we get an Algiz rune, we're like, totally set. I don't like this dodge. Blue Candle was such a huge pickup. Thank fuck we didn't stick with D12, man. I'll take things Eminem never said for 500. Okay, so we, we did get a Dagazer in there. And that is actually pretty good. We haven't been hit yet, so the fact that we uh, just bought ourselves some extra life there is actually pretty huge. The thing that scares me is that I haven't really done boss rush too many times in Afterbirth, so I'm I'm not quite sure of the the structure of the waves. You know what comes next, what comes last, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're pretty much just gonna keep going here. Again, if this takes me ten minutes, that's nothing, man. 
10 minutes is a 6,000... Wait, no, 10 minutes is a... 600 points. Boss Rush beating it is like 4,000 or 5,000 or something. So, you know, if you just run the math on that, of course you're probably going to take damage over it as well. The ideal case would be that you would never take damage on Boss Rush, but that's pretty unrealistic. I think the, a more realistic... Uh, Suggestion is take as little damage as possible. We're also getting consumables occasionally on on boss rush as well So, you know, I'm not saying it all comes out in the wash I'm just saying like it seems like a fairly obvious situation from a value proposition standpoint I guess blue candle didn't quite hit him there. I really want to kill the bloat I I tried to like fake him out little toe drag there, but he was he was ready for it, man. We gotta stay vigilant here, because this one could be, uh... This one could be tough. You know, we don't know what's coming for us in future waves. At least not fully. So we got a uh, little horn here. Consensus pick for one of the favored new bosses in the game. Good, good, good. That was huge, because really these enemies are annoying. To be able to focus on, uh... One at a time is really good. That was also extremely close. That is the coolest attack out of all of them. You see the shot speed with which he came at me there? Yes, my dog. Thank you for the consumables. Where are you? There we go. Oh, we got a rune. It's an Algae's rune. Fighting Dingle in the Hollow. Which sounds like a sweet-ass, like, buddy cop film. We're not gonna pop it yet. We'll pop it when things get a little trickier for us. Because obviously right now, this is like our ideal boss fight. As long as we're fast enough to get out of the way. And I... You know, in a way, I hope I'm not vindicated on this run, because I kind of, I wouldn't say I scummed it up, but I, I focused on things that I don't normally focus on in runs. And if it if it works out for me, I wouldn't say I'll be disappointed, but I'll be a little bit, like, bummed out, because I don't want to do, like, long-form runs like this. Just doing it to mom is fine. I walked right over the spikes. Um, but I don't really want to, like, focus on just beating Boss Rush and finishing the daily challenge that way. Like, that's going to be the... The number one thing for score, but I mean, if it if it is, it is right. Like the daily challenge is not a hundred percent of Isaac. It's just a it's a small part of it. How small depends on you know your your own values. Like, are you are you someone who gets competitive about stuff like this? Then you know tailor your play accordingly. It's you know what you see is what you get, or you get what you give is what I'm trying to say. So now we're at like we've been in this fight for five minutes. Five minutes is uh, 300 points, but we've also gained points for being here. Unless there's some kind of like cumulative bonus at the end, I sort of don't see uh, why you would ever skip boss rush, even if it's going to take you forever. Oh, come on. I'm super stoked to keep getting these red hearts, though. And we've got to, like, I'm not saying we're super close to the end of the game. But we can't be that far away from the end of Boss Rush. We're fighting our, you know, second horseman. We gotta be more than halfway. Where's my... There he is. And then he's just gone. I've got this ready, though. Who ordered the candle? My dog. Slow it down. Thank God he came in this direction, or we might have been in a, another kind of tricky position as far as timing goes. Let's save our uh, blue candle charge for this. Okay, it's um, Brownie. Not an easy fight. Little Chad has to be almost dead. Regular size Chad. That's not Brownie. That's just the... That's like the secondary mode of Brownie. Oh, it's special dingle. Something about the color of this poop makes me very uncomfortable. This guy should see a... A doctor. I don't believe your stool is supposed to have that much, uh, you know, detritus in it. This is brownie. Oh, we got a rune as well. Blank rune. Doesn't this do whatever our spacebar item is so it's actually, like, complete trash for us right here? So on this wave, you know, things are a little tough. So I'm going to use, um... I'm going to use the Algiz rune. We're going to slip on that poop again. Makes me very uncomfortable. We still got poop monsters. We got angel statues. Uh, what is that enemy? Can we talk about the enemy that just shot at me there? I thought it was the gate. 
I was like, that's a pretty decent attack coming out from the gate. I'm not used to that level of, uh, of skill there. I mean, if Blank Rune works, it works, but I don't really want to use one blue candle charge with Blank Rune. Blank Rune? Or I mean, does it just do what our last rune did? I think it just does what our last rune did. No, it doesn't. It, maybe it's just a random rune. Uh, so my 10 minute estimate doesn't appear to be too far off here. We're still fighting. We have not fought a death yet. I think. We're not quite strong enough to be killing things without noticing that they exist. Famine might be a small exception there. Hey, we did it! Uh, we won't take the Parasite because the run's just going to end anyway. We will take the Rune. We, oh, well, we'll take some damage, but we'll also pick up some HP afterwards. And uh, we'll pick up our heart. I guess I didn't pick that up earlier. That'll do it! That's our run! And... I will always love you. Uh, come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Windmill, windmill, spinning face. Tears are rolling all over the... Oh, Isaac NG has stopped working! Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just start up another... We'll take a look here. Please tell me that it at least counted the daily. Preparing to launch The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Preparing to launch the film starring Matthew McConaughey. Called Failure to Launch. It's just not loading at all here, so... Let's go, uh... Go to the internet. How's it going? Maybe Isaac's, like, trying to update literally right now? Steam. No connection to Steam. Oh my god! It's Tuesday at 4! It's Steam's, uh, it's, it's Steam's maintenance. So I guess if you're doing a, a run during Steam's maintenance, uh, fuck you. Is Steam down? Steam status. Is Steam down? Steam is down for routine maintenance every Tuesday. Literally, it was like two minutes ago this started. You guys want to go to, we'll go to Twitter quickly. Hmm. Hang on, Twitter. And go, uh, hey, I guess when you do the daily and Steam is doing routine maintenance, it just crashes when you submit your score. Cool beans. Well, uh, I, I could, like, sit here until Steam comes back. That's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna lie to you on that one. Um, I'm disappointed because I want that immediate gratification, you know? It won't even, like, launch Rebirth right now because there's no connection to Steam. That's so disappointing. It was still a fun run. I hope you had a good time with it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see what our score was next time. Goodbye.